Okay, everybody, it's official. We're gonna go through the draw. You ready to do this? So here is the men's draw for the 2021 US Open. And I'll tell you what, if you're a Novak Djokovic fan, you are gonna smile because he has a very good draw. Uh, let's go start with the players that are not playing at the US Open this year. Okay, so the players that are out of the US Open for 2021, you can see there, Bedene, he has pulled out. Also, Chorich has pulled out. Kyle Edmund has also withdrawn from the event. Haven't seen him for a long, long time. Uh, Roger Federer, we know he's pulled out with a knee injury for the rest of the season. Rafa Nadal also pulled out with a foot injury for the rest of the season. Milos Raonic, he is also out of the US Open this year with Dominic Team, the defending champion, joining him. Obviously, Team's not playing for the rest of the year due to the wrist injury. And Stan Wawrinka, former champion, also not playing this event. Here is the draw, Novak Djokovic. He gets a qualifier in the first round. The winner of that match takes on either Grigspor or Struff in the second round. Then we have Caruso versus Nishikori. Winner of that match takes on either McDonald or the number 27 seed, David Goffin, in the second round. Then we've got the 21st seed, Karatsev. He takes on Munair in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Thompson or Maga in the second round. Uh, then we've got Brooksby, the wild card, versus Ema. Winner of that match takes on a pretty fire first round matchup, if I do say so myself. Fritz versus the number 14 seed, Dimonor. A couple of next-gen guys going at it in the first round. Could be very interesting. So you can see there that um, the fourth round opponents uh, for Djokovic, if he does make it that far, which I think we all expect, uh, could be Karatsev. I mean, you know, we've, we've got to look out for Karatsev. He didn't do much against Djokovic at the Australian Open, but, you know, that was a you know a long time ago now, and he's... I mean, has he kind of gotten better? A little bit better. So maybe Karatsev in the fourth round against Djokovic or Dimonor. Uh, but I'm definitely watching out for, obviously, Djokovic, Dimonor, and Karatsev in this part of the draw. Second section of the draw, we've got the number 10 seed, Herkatch. He takes on Jerisimov in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Seppi or Fucevic in the second round. Then you've got Kudla versus Jera. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or the number 20 seed, Sinego, in the second round. Then we've got the number 28 seed, Fanini, taking on Pospisil. Circle, that one is one to watch. That is a fire first round matchup. Uh, winner of that match takes on either Sa uh, Sandgren or Avashka in the second round. Then we have Matei versus Travaglia. Winner of that takes on either Chardy or the number six seed Berrettini. And that is a tough first round for Berrettini against the veteran Chardy. Uh, players I'm watching out for in this one, got to watch out for Matteo Berrettini. Of course, uh, he's got a tough first round, but uh, he has played well at the US Open in previous years. Hubi Hercatch as well, got to watch out for him. Had a couple of good, uh, had a pretty good season really on hard courts. And, of course, made the Wimbledon semifinals. So let's see if he can do something here in this event. And Fabio Fanini, I mean, you've got to watch out for him. He's always an interesting player to watch out for. And who knows? He has beaten uh, some big names at this event in the past. Next section of the draw, we have Alexander Zverev. Number four seed. He takes on Sam Querrey in the first round. What a terrible first round for Zverev. Very tough match against an American in America. And Query, he knows, he loves an upset. Uh, winner of that match takes on either Ramos, Vinoles, or Pui in the second round. Then we've got Nishioka versus the wild card Sock. Keep an eye on Jack Sock. We'll be doing that on this channel if he does get through the next rounds. Uh, winner of that match takes on either Hanfman or the 31st seed Bublik in the second round. Then we've got the number 17 seed Monfils taking on Correa. Winner of that match takes on either Johnson or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got Chekinado versus Svider, the wild card from America. Winner of that match takes on either the wild card Purcell or the 16th seed Sinner. So matchups that could be happening and potential players that you should watch out for. Of course, watch out for Sasha Zverev. He's on a win streak. He just won Cincinnati. He won the gold medal at the Olympics. He beat Djokovic to get that medal. Uh, watch out for him. You've also got to watch out for Yannick Sinner. He won Washington a couple of weeks ago. And uh, look, might be able to do something here as well. Maybe have a bit of a run. Has a pretty good draw, to be honest. And Jack Sock. We're going to be watching him on the channel if he does make it through, especially if he plays maybe Zverev in the third round. So keep an eye on Jack Sock. This time last year is really where we, we started the Sock train. That's where we started our Jack Sock fan club here on Tennis Talk. So watch out for Jack Sock. I know uh, I would definitely be keeping an eye on him, especially in the first couple of rounds. And the last part of this draw, in the top half of the draw, we have... Karina Busta, the number nine seed. He takes on a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Quarter or a or Basilashvili in the second round. So interesting first round matchup there. And then you got Musetti versus the wild card Nava. The winner of that match takes on either Quan or the 22nd seed Opelka in the second round. Then you got the number 25 seed Hashinov versus Harris. 
That's a tough one to say quick. Uh, winner of that plays either Quavos or the wild card Escobedo. Then you got Bayana versus Paul. Winner of that match takes on either Delbonis or the number seven seed Shapovalov. So players we're watching out for on this one would be, you got to watch out for Shapo. I know he's in terrible form right now, but you still got to watch out for him. He's got a pretty good draw. As he's got, you know, Delbonis is a clay court player in that first round, so he could get through that. Also, PCB, watch out for Carino Busta, bronze medalist at the Olympics. Uh, of course, beat Djokovic here last year in that default match. Uh, also got to watch out for Opoka. He's in great form at the moment. And I would say definitely got to watch out for Hashinov as well, the silver medalist at the Olympics. So a lot of players to watch out for in this part of the draw. All right, let's start at the bottom half of the draw now. We've got Rublev, the number five seed. He takes on a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Martinez or Duckworth in the second round. Then we've got TFO versus a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Pella or the 32nd seed Krajanovic in the second round. Then we've got one of the first round matches that everyone I'm sure will be watching. And if not, you'll be looking at the scores or checking in on it at least. Is the number 18 seed, Batista Agu taking on Nick Kyrgios in the first round. Woo, okay, let's keep an eye on that one. That is a fire first round matchup. A winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Rusevori in the second round. Then we've got Lopez versus a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either another qualifier or the number 12 seed, Felix Ogelia Seam in the second round. So a lot of qualities in this part of the draw, but players to watch out for. Uh, Rublev, got to watch out for Rublev. In great form as he has been for the last couple of years. Uh, actually played really well here last year as well. So got to keep out an eye on Rublev in this tournament. Uh, actually beat, I think he beat Tsitsipas and, um, and Kyrgios two years ago, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then you, obviously you got to watch out for Kyrgios as well. I don't know if he's going to play. I hope he does, but you've got to watch out for him anyway. If he does play, he, the first round matchup against RBA is going to be a nightmare. And then, of course, OJ Aliasim. Keep an eye on him. Had a pretty good week last week. So, uh, you know, beat Berrettini in uh, in the match last week before losing to City Pass. So keep an eye on FAA this uh, for this tournament as well. Next part of the draw, we've got Garen, the number 16 seed, taking on Gombus in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Milman in the second round. Then we've got Lajevic versus Pear. Winner of that match takes on either the qualifier or the number 23 seed, Umber, in the second round. Then we've got the number 26 seed, Nori versus Elkarez. Baby Raffer in action against Cam Nori. That's a tough first round matchup against, uh, you know, for, for Nori. Uh, winner of that match takes on either Kichmenovic or Rindernik in the second round. Then we've got a couple of Frenchmen going at it with Manorino taking on Herbert. Winner of that match takes on probably one of the most exciting first round matches on paper. On paper. Andy Murray is taking on Stefano City past the third seed. That would be, if it was two two years ago, that would be a final of a slam. Uh, but no, Andy Murray, or maybe not two years, maybe four years ago. But Andy Murray, he's unseeded. He plays against City Pass in the first round. Obviously, we're watching out for City Pass. Um, <laughs> he's got a tough draw. I mean, if he has to play Herbert in the second round, it's still going to be tough. Um, he, he's got a pretty pretty tough draw. Also, got to watch out for Umber. Umber has been really good lately, and uh, he's been pretty good this year. Also beat City Pass at the Olympics. So uh, if they do meet in the fourth round, got to watch out for him. And also, I'm watching out for Alcarez. Played very well this week in Winston-Salem. Some highlight shots. And uh, I want to see what Baby Raph is all about. So keep an eye on Alcarez at the US Open as well this week. All right, nearly there, guys. We've got Casper Rudd, number eight in the world. and Sorry, number eight in the seedings. He takes on Joe Wood for Songer in the first round. That is a nightmare for Rudd. Unfortunately for Songer, he hasn't played enough, I don't think, to beat Rudd. But again, that is a, t that is a nightmare first round. Uh, winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Tabana in the second round. Then we've got Bagnus versus Daniel. Winner of that match takes on either Simon or the number 29 seed Davidovich for Kina in the second round. Then we've got the Battle of the Americans. We've got the number 19 seed Isner taking on Nakashima. Winner of that match takes on a qualifier in the second round because we've got two qualities going at it in the first round. Uh, then we've got Vesely versus Anderson who's a very dangerous unseeded player, Anderson. Uh, winner of that match takes on either Barinkas or the number 11 seed Schwartzman in the second round. So players to watch out for, Casper Rudd. Had a really good clay court season in 2021 and back-to-back -back Masters 1000 quarterfinals on hard courts. Keep an eye on Rudd. Tough first round against Songa, but keep an eye on Rudd. Also, Diego Schwartzman, got to keep an eye on him. Had a very good, uh, you know, played very well here a couple of years ago. Got a set of Rafa in 2019, so can play in New York. And also got to keep an eye on Isner as well. Very dangerous player, as we saw a couple of weeks ago uh, in uh, Canada. 
So keep an eye on Isner. He's a very dangerous player. Bottom part of the draw now, rounding it out as we get number 15 seed, Dimitrov. He takes on the wild card, uh, Rafis, in the first round. Then you've got Poprin, uh, winner of that will take on either Poprin or Elbot in the second round. Then you've got Giron taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Montero or the 24th seed Evans in the second round. Then you've got Battle of the Veterans, the number 30 seed Chilich taking on Cole Schreiber in the first round. Uh, winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Andujar in the second round. Then we've got Kopfa versus another qualifier. Winner of that match takes on another first round matchup between a veteran and a current generation player. Gasquet versus the number two seed Medvedev, another fire matchup. Circle that one as one to watch. Uh, Medvedev, got to watch out for him. He's in great form. Uh, didn't play great last week against Rublev, but again, he won Canada. Um, and Medvedev, he loves playing in America. He's had back-to-back -back semi-finals at this event in the last two years. Made the final here two years ago. Australian Open final at the start of the year. He doesn't mind playing best of five sets on hard courts at the majors. Um, Got to watch out for him. Also, Marin Cilic, former champion, 2014. Got to watch out for him as well. You know, clearly loves playing in America. And also watching out for Dan Evans. Hasn't really done much since the start of the year. But I think Dan Evans, he's got a pretty good draw. He could make the fourth round here. And then maybe... Make some, uh, make some waves against Medvedev. He did have match points against Stan Vavrinka a few years ago, and then obviously Vavrinka won that match and won the title, so he has troubled some of the seeds in the past. Man, oh man. Woo. Talk about a crazy draw.